This video will be about setting up our navigation. Now I've, I've, I've gone ahead and it's, it's done in a sense, but I just wanted to go through the custom menus feature to show you uh, really you have almost unlimited options in creating really great navigation on your business website. So here's our widget panel. We want to go under appearances. We want to go to the menus. So we've gone ahead and set up uh, a few blog posts, a few pages, and so we can um, work with those. Now, we, I don't have any menus set up or anything, so we're going to create our first menu, and we'll call it Top Nav. That'll be the, the very upper top. I suppose I could call it Primary Nav as well. So right here this is where you choose which menus are going to be where so the primary navigation is the top menu bar the secondary will show up right under there you'll see that so right now we've got our top nav that's what I'm gonna choose this for there and we'll add we'll add those to our top nav oh, let's add our contact as well so our top navigation bar. Now we also want to add, not everybody does this, but I still do it for my sites. I like to add a home button. And as you can see what I've just done is I've created a custom link. I don't have to go with an existing page or a category or a specific blog post. I can create a custom link and title the button anything I want. And then I can move these around like that. So it's a really powerful feature in WordPress. This this comes with all themes. You just want to make sure your theme is um, compatible with the custom menus. Most should be. This has been out for a little while now. So we have a top nav bar. Let's create a secondary navigation bar. So we want to create, in order to do that, create a new menu. And we'll call this secondary nav. And you can create lots of menus. I create all sorts of menus, and I put them on different pages, and you know, use them for different things. So it's uh, once you have a lot of pages, a lot of categories, a lot of content, you can do that. And we want to choose that. Oh, let's just make it easy here. Let's. Why don't we go like this? So sometimes most used, you can just play around with it. We'll go like. That. We'll put our blog up there. We'll save that menu. And just, uh, you know, we have an individual blog post right here. And uh, here's the URL. Let's say I wanted to put a particular blog post on a menu. I can do that. I can just take the blog post. Let's say it's um, uh, whatever. And I can add that now. I've now added a post to. Uh, what is traditionally just a pages thing. Um, it used to be that menu menus were, were split between posts and pages and that was the big distinction. Now with custom menus the distinction really is blurred a lot because I can put posts where pages traditionally went, I can put pages where posts traditionally went. I mean this has opened up wide open here and uh, it's been fantastic. So we have our two menus now remember, I activated the secondary menu. You always want to make sure, you know, you've got everything set up in your theme settings right. So um, we want to make sure that that's going. Otherwise, it's not going to show up, or we're going to be wondering why it's not working. So we just make sure both of those navigation options are going, and let's check it out. For more WordPress video tutorials, including full video courses on how to build uh, many types of websites, go to b2web.com.